Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Nathan Camarillo, executive producer on Crisis 2. Hi, I'm Cheva Dielli, director on Crisis 2 and founder of Crytek. Today we are going to look at center station level and tell you more about it. Yeah, let's take a look at the footage. In Crisis 2, this is a pivotal story point, one of the most important levels in the game. This is the last stronghold in New York as the Marines are protecting all the civilians and trying to get as many out of the city as possible using the subways and, and the trains available in Central Station. Um, like I said, it's the last stronghold and you've been asked to help hold the defense against the aliens as aliens start streaming in from all directions. So you have to get upstairs here and help out your fellow Marines. One of the key points of Crisis 2 is what we call the Choreograph Sandbox. Choreograph Sandbox combines the freedom of a sandbox game with the intensity and choreography of a linear shooter. And as all these events are occurring in the sandbox, I want you to pay particular attention to how the art changes over the course of the level. Right now it's very clean and well lit and pristine, but as the battle rages on and on, uh, it's going to get more and more damaged. So in, uh, for example, we have uh, integrated a lot of choreographed events in the sandbox experience. So you have here, for example, the alien unit pinger coming in, which is a choreography itself. But uh, the important thing is, like, unlike in typical games where this will be a completely linear experience, the player has a choice to fully traverse the entire play space and utilize everything at its disposal, weapon, tools, but also strategize throughout the entire geometry space, e.g. the terminal, to fully play back this as a sandbox experience. And this pinger and all these aliens pack quite a punch, so you're going to need all the powers of the nano suit in order to survive. Uh, one thing that's going to happen here is we're going to look around the corner and figure out what weapons there are around the sandbox that we can use to take out the pinger because the shotgun isn't going to cut it. So we're going to jump over the balcony here and use the power jump of the nano suit to get across the space and survive and get better weaponry. And I'm taking quite a beating here. So I mean, what I really have to do is use the powers of the suit like stealth in order to get around the side of the pinger and get a good firing position in order to flank him. So I'm going to hit him here with the rocket launcher and then try to find more weaponry in the space. With the nano suit, you're going to experience the ultimate super soldier experience. As a normal soldier, you would be failing any kind of alien invasion logically because you are not equipped for it. But with the nano suit, you have the right kind of equipment of technology enhancing the, the soldier experience. Uh, and as a super soldier, you are able to overcome the most vicious intelligent enemies ever seen in a video game. By using the armor mode, the player is effectively becoming uh, temporarily invulnerable, uh, allows surviving direct hits that would be normally life critical. The nano suit is augmenting the player's health bar, and so he can survive long. And stealth gives you temporary invisibility. So here the pinger is trying to detect the player with a focus ping that would disable his suit powers. But going stealth allows you to move to new locations and then engage the enemies when you're ready. This was a big fight against the Pinger, a tough one, one of the toughest enemy in the entire game. And we make sure that choreographed sandbox ends with either choreographed or scripted sequence or a cinematic. And in this case, it's a, it's a sum of all. So that's it from me and Nathan. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Enjoy the rest of it.